everyone, it's Itek here from Sunshine Library. Welcome to our activity zone. Now today we're going to be making a safari hat just like the one here. So I've got everything laid out here that you would need. I've got some twine, as you can see. I've got some strips of paper. So just get some paper and cut them into thin strips. Now you want them thin because it just makes it a little bit easier when we're going to be uh, sticking them onto the plate. So, got some strips there. I've got, of course, the paper plate, like I mentioned. I've got some scissors, hole puncher, stapler, a glue stick, and some cello tape. Now, because we are using things like scissors and stapler, an adult will be required because they may need to assist with the activity. But other than that, let's get started. We're gonna have fun today. So, I'm gonna grab the paper plate first, all right? Now what we basically want to do is cut out this circle here because that is where our head is going to go. So it's going to come through from here. So in order to cut that out, what I like to do is I bend the paper plate a little bit in, just fold it right there and then I'll grab the scissors. So again adults, make sure you help with this bit. And what I'm going to do is just make an incision in the middle, just there. There we go. So there we go, right there. Then what I like to do is bring that all the way to the end of each side. Then to make it even easier, I cut along the opposite side. All right, sort of like a cross. Side and then the other side and then what you'll have is basically two uh, sorry four pizza slices <laughs> all right so then we're just gonna cut it out now the reason I did it that way is it because it just makes it a little bit easier when you're cutting them out otherwise your hand sort of goes awkward and gets stuck okay this just makes it a lot easier so kids if you are cutting the circle out just make sure you're careful because scissors can be very sharp. I don't want you to accidentally cut yourself or hurt yourself. So make sure you're being extremely careful. Awesome. Now, this hat isn't going to fit me because my head's a little bit too big. This is more of a kid size hat. For an adult size, I'd recommend using two plates, possibly cutting it into half and then adding pieces as you go along just to see how wide you need it. Now this is going to be our brim here, the edge of the plate, just like this hat here. So that's our brim. Make sure your head goes through the hole there. If you need to, you can cut a little bit further, but don't go too further out because you want a little bit of that brim out. That's what's gonna make it look like a safari hat. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that. All right, I'm gonna pop that excess paper plate just on the side here. And now what we're going to do is we're going to grab a strip of paper. So just pop that hat back onto your head. All right. And then what I like to do is, I'll show you here, I go underneath the brim. You can also go over, but I've just done it this way because my strips were quite long. So I'm going to go under and then over. Now. When you're popping the strip on, you want to make sure that it covers your head. You don't want it too tight. You want it a little bit loose. Okay, so I don't know if you can see there's a little bit of a gap there. So once I'm happy with that, again, it's a lot easier if you have someone helping you with this. All right, but once I'm happy with that, I'm gonna bend the paper on the sides and then just pull it out to see. Now I think that height looks quite good. I'm happy with that. So now what you do is either use a stapler or a glue stick. It's totally up to you and what you prefer. The glue stick can get a little bit messy. So what I might do is use the stapler. So just keep it in place. And then staple it. Awesome. And then same with the other side. Now, 
Now, the only other con about using the stapler is that the staples will show. For this hat here, I didn't use a stapler, I used the glue stick, and you can see that it looks a lot better. Alright, so now we just keep going. So I'm just going to pop that back onto my head, like so. I'm going to grab another strip of paper. Now what you want to do is go across the opposite side, sort of like a plus sign. Okay, so I'm going to again go under and over. Okay, and then on the other side, under and Now, the tricky thing about this is you don't want it too tight where it's making the other strip of paper bend down. You want to leave a little bit of a gap. So I'm just going to fiddle around with that. You can see that, but there is a little bit of a gap there. So I'm happy with that. Awesome. So now I'm just going to staple it or glue it down. Okay. Cool. Now the hardest part is pretty much over. Once you have these first two strips down, now you can just go along and just keep going the opposite way. So. I'm just going to go in through here and then up the other way. There we go, sort of get it center in the middle. Awesome. And then staple or glue it down. Be careful if you're using the stapler. Okay, so again, I'm going under and over, under and over. Okay. All right, just like that. to do is actually fold in these pieces here just gives it more of a round illusion because we want that to look round okay. awesome. it looks heaps better all right cool now what you want to do is just keep going to fill in the spaces. Remember, keep going opposite ways, and then I'll show you my end result. Awesome, so I've just popped on all of my strips. I'm quite happy with that. Now remember what I said, to fold in. So what you're gonna do is from here, just fold inward over that inside of the brim just to give it more of a circular round illusion because that's what we want like that. Awesome. cool now as you can see the brim is two different colors so what I do is I made sure to cut out extra strips and what I'm going to do is just go along the brim and just paste them on just to make it look a little bit better. So I'm going to do that now and then I'll come back at the end. Awesome, that's done. There we go. Looking good. Now, the other problem with using staplers is on the bottom, you're now going to have very sharp staples sticking out. So what you can do now is grab any sort of sticking tape, I've got cello tape, and just put some tape 
around the brim just so that it doesn't poke and scratch you. All right, so I'm gonna do that now. All right, there we go. I've caked up the bottoms so that it won't scratch or poke me. Awesome. Now for the final step. So what you're gonna do is just pop it on your head, go to a mirror, check out how it looks, and if you're happy with it, now what we're gonna do is grab each side like that, okay? And then we're gonna grab a hole puncher and punch one hole on one side and then directly on the opposite side. And there we go, we got our two holes there, as you can see. And now you're gonna grab some twine. Now, what you want is the hat to be able to hang low when you're not wearing it. So it doesn't have to be too long. I'm gonna do about that long. So just go in there. Okay, so now what you're gonna do is what I did was I made a loop and put that through the hole. Just because you've got to do a bit of a thicker knot, otherwise it might come out of the hole that you hole punched. Now what I'm going to do is just cut off that extra bit. So cut off that, and cut off that, and that. And then we're going to do the next side. Alright, and there we go, there's our hat. Now we're ready to go on an adventure. So, send us your hat, and show us how good of a job you did. You can also be creative with it. You know, you can stick, if you like, anything else on it or draw on it. But have fun with it. I hope you enjoyed the activity. And we hope to see you in our next video. Bye.